I'm going to go through the anatomy of the eye first by drawing it on the whiteboard and then I'll do a second video where I use the model. But some of these things are a little bit easier to see in rather diagrammatic form on a whiteboard. So the external part of the eye is called the sclera. I'm going to draw it like this. Right there. The sclera is the white of the eye, the part that you see on the outside. Deep to the sclera is the next layer, and it is called the choroid. So I'm going to do the choroid in orange here. The choroid is a vascular layer, so it has blood vessels that um, serve the area of the eye that's right there. And the anterior part of the eye, this part is the anterior, the choroid splits, O-I-D-C-H, C-H-O-R-O-I-D, the choroid splits. This part right here is the iris. That's the colored part of the eye, the part of the eye that makes your blue eyes blue or brown or green or whatever they are. And then back in here, is something called the ciliary body. We'll talk in a minute about what that does. The anterior part of the cornea, of the sclera, is called the cornea. It bulges out a little bit. So that's the cornea right there in blue. Um, that's the clear part that's at the front of your eye. And then tucked right in here between the iris and the ciliary body is the lens. L-E-N-S, the lens. And the lens is attached to that ciliary body and the ciliary body has little fibers that go down to the lens and it, they, that pulls or pushes on the lens to change the shape of the lens so that the light can be focused on the retina and the posterior part of the eye. So the cornea, don't confuse the cornea and the lens, the cornea is the clear bulge at the front of your eye and then the lens is back in here. And the lens changes shape, the cornea does not. The most deep layer of the eyeball is the retina. Retina. The retina is the business part of the eye. It's the part that allows you to actually see. So the outermost part is the sclera. S-C-L-E-R-A. And then the choroid with the vascular layer and then the retina with the receptors for light on it. Coming out of the back of the retina, there's one little spot here that has no light receptors, and coming out of the back is the optic nerve. Now this you should know, the optic nerve is cranial nerve two. You have two of them, one that goes to each eyeball. It's one of the cranial nerves, so it arises from the brain and it goes to the eye. So the optic nerve is right here. The spot right here where the optic nerve exits the eye is called the optic disc. You might also know it as the blind spot. And the optic disc is where there is there are no light receptors because the optic nerve exits the eye right there. Let me see if I forgot anything. So that covers the anatomy of the eye doing it that way. I'm going to do a second video where I cover the anatomy of the eye with the model and another video where I cover the chambers and the cavities of the eye.